We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome back to the Freak Show. I'm your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and we're diving back into Fire Emblem, Shadow Dragon and the Blade of Light. And things are scary and spooky right now, and not looking necessarily super great, but also maybe not the worst thing in the history of the world. I don't know. Kind of in between those two, somewhere, somehow, some way. Uh, I hold on. We're gonna we're gonna move to this guy. Yeah, this guy right here. I'm gonna attack you with a lance because you're on a horse. I, maybe I have no idea. Maybe we can land an attack. Oh my god, we landed an attack. Who knew that would be a thing? Hindsight being what it is, I probably should have moved him in to deal with all of the archers. But, dumb Bumpy is dumb sometimes, so, meh. Maybe most times, who knows. Anyway, going to attack with a steel bow up onto you, hopefully putting you down. Uh, oh, good, there's a follow-up. I'm like, ugh, are you kidding me? Did this really just happen this way? Ugh. That would have been the worst. All right, steel bow number two. Let's see what you got. Seven and seven. All right, it's fine. There's five HP left. How far in can I make it? Not really that far. All right, let's go here. The iron sword will be enough. Four, counter attack, whatever. It's cool. I actually didn't think the counter attack would hit. Also thought I'd do at least five damage. Alright, we got a strength up by one. Weapon level increase, luck, and defense. I am here for it. I still don't know if I should leave the dragon there or not. Like, I, what, what do I do? Ugh, scary. Oh, no, not items. Scary times. I mean, I, I suppose I should have... No? I should have probably healed Caster down here, but that's fine. Alright, let's get Julian in here. We're we'll gonna be doing some stuff here soon enough. We need to get people that are going to be able to close the distance and do damage to the archer. I'm hoping that maybe he comes to me. I'm not sure that's really going to work, but I'm kind of hoping it might. I also have an idea. It's a bad idea, but it's an idea. What if I leave Gordon back here to deal with these guys, and I defend him in the corner here, so he can shoot? Might work. Might not. Seems as good of a plan as anything else I've come up with thus far. I mean, stuff has not really gone perfectly, we'll say. But with my 1 HP... <sighs> Do I attack? I, I mean, I guess... What am I using? What, 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 what weapon am I using? A steel sword? Let's use the lance. Just seems like maybe a better choice. Yeah, I did, I did two damage versus the one that they did to me. Alright, that's a start. Let's hope that uh, Gordon doesn't just get, like, mauled. And they don't just run around and be like, Oh, look, a little archer in the corner. Blah. Oh, good, good, good. This is what I was hoping. Counterattack, follow up, down he goes. Alright, so no more big heavy that we have to deal with. I don't think the archers are going to come forward. If Minerva doesn't move on us, I'm okay with that. Dang, there was my one thing I was afraid of. Oh, Gordon dodged though. That's good. Okay, so we might be in business here. I said I, I, I was a little concerned. I'm like, they might be able just to go past. That's why I tried to use the, the dragon to block, and it worked. Almost. 
sorry, not the dra yeah, the dragon to block the dragon riders. And okay. All right, buddy, get on over here. Launch those attacks out like you mean a business. Go ahead, shoot them. Oh, I say that was not impressive. And then just immediately, as I was just about to finish saying that, completely straight up murked him. And I could not be happier. That was great. All right, a little concerned about what they might do to our back line. But uh, hopefully we're not a super, dang, super tasty target right now. How far can we get with you? Not quite. So let's move here. Let's start preparing. You will be able to traverse. I am... Very uncertain, but medium certain. I'll be able to do something with you. You're gonna go straight up and steal this chest. Okay. Sure, that's that's definitely a thing. All right. Where do I need to move? Come on. Okay, that's fine. I, I kind of want to try Barrier, because I think Barrier is a stronger version of Heal. So, I could be completely wrong. Oh, it's a Magic Shield. Well, I was completely wrong. See? Told you, I don't go look everything up. <laughs> I definitely make some errors. Some mistakes. Oh, yeah. Gotta be careful with you. You are not the one I want to send into that that little uh, battle right now. Uh, it seems like a real foolish plan. Alright, so here's the next plan, or strategy, if you will. Get you guys in, block it with Raj on the backside. This is Draug or Raj? This is Draug. Block it with, with Draug on the backside. And we're safe inside now, as long as we don't get murdered by all the archers. You were doing fine out here, Roger. You were uh, kicking some booty, and I definitely appreciated all your uh, efforts and sacrifices. We have protected our archer. And unless somehow our dragon is real weak, I can't fathom a possibility that any of those three will die. I, I, I'm always incredibly nervous when the turn starts because I'm like, what horrible thing is about to happen? I'm just sitting here like anticipating, like biting. I, I'm literally like biting my finger. I'm like, eh. All right, seems they don't want anything to do with the dragon, which is cool. And they're very content with attacking Roger, which is also cool because Roger just does not care. Uh oh. Okay, did not anticipate. A javelin throw. Okay, so javelin throw, not something that I thought was going to be a thing. So as much as I thought I was safe, I am not fully safe. Okay, archer on archer action, and we're moving them out, which is good. Okay, I'm fine with this. Is it just the one? Please tell me the other two move. Nope, just the one. Alright, that's, that's fine, it's fine. Okay, so what we need right now, let's start with this. Raj. Attack, my friend. Take down Pegasus. You failed. Alright. Uh, I believe in you. I believe in you, Gordon. I, I've not believed in you much. Prove me wrong. There we go. Okay. That all that misbelief early on was just my own folly. Our weapon level went up. Speed luck. Okay, cool. And let's see what our dragon can do against the dragon rider. I am a little bit bummed out that the Pegasus Knight flew away, but 
Eh. Sup? You want to ride me? I don't think so. We're a much larger dragon than what they're riding. Well, technically they're riding wyverns, right? So, I mean, it makes sense, I guess. Can you make it up there? Can your fat butt make it up there? Oh, please tell me you can. Oh, no, you can't. Dang, I was hoping. Oh, that would have been, been fun. All right, what do you got? Eleven sword. I don't even know what that is. I don't think I've maybe ever heard of that. Well, one thing I know for certain. We need to actually get a heal on to you because... We did not... The barrier did not do anything to help you last time around, so... Alright. Well, no risk play. We have the iron sword, and we're going to slap you. You cannot counter me. But I cannot finish you. It's fine. Who needs this kill? Most. Might be able to use you in the actual next combat, so let's put Caster down here. And have him take the shot. If we land the shot, we get the kill for sure. Yeah. Very nice. Alright, caster levels up to 11. Speed up and max HP. Alright. Let's go here. I'm sort of inclined to use the silver bow. You know what? I will. I think I will. Big damage and dropped him instantaneously he is just done level 3 attained oh no stat upgrades that's kind of poopy um can you Ooh, you cannot how healthy are you eh, let's check your health oh yeah you're fine Hey, really? Everybody's just falling short. Alright, well I guess it's going to come down to Abel and his cavalier attitude. He can't make it either? Oh my god. Eh, why not? Merrick over here too. Why not? Seems fine. Draug, get on up in here, my friend. Alright, so everybody's done everything they can. Let's see what they do next. I imagine we don't have a lot more time before uh, Minerva gets real upset and comes after us. So he probably programmed to stay, stay like five turns and be like, well, if you're not going to save my sister, death comes for ya. Alright, going up against my boy again. He ain't going to do nothing to Raj. Of course, Raj isn't doing much back to you either, so. Run away. You're going to go get healed by the curate. Like, I know how this is going. I've seen the writing on the wall. Alright, what are you doing? What are you doing, Marth? Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. She did not come after us. That's excellent. Uh, you know what? Kind of want Merrick to get a little bit of love. Let's give it to him. Blizzard, go for it. Okay, that was a bit underwhelming. I really expected more to come from that, but... I guess that's okay. Oh, Navar. Yeah, Steel Sword. Okay, okay. Level 9, speed up by 1, and max HP. Uh, can you land the Javelin attack? Can we even get through this?
yeah, we landed the javelin, and he leveled up, which is nice. Okay, Abel got a silver bow. Uh, we got a skill increased by one, weapon level, speed, and HP. We're going to store it, of course. We don't want to sell the silver or drop the silver bow. Oh, it looks like, yeah, we can walk through this stuff. This is not going to be a problem. All right, cool. Alright, we're gonna move there. Gonna get our thief over here. Technically, I think I'm just gonna use the dorky that we have on Merrick. And I'm gonna make sure we have both Marth and we have Seda within speaking distance. That way, whatever we need, we have. Let's get Wendell over here. Uh, I assume we'll pop out the other side. Probably. Heal, throw that up on you, putting you up to 20 HP, should be enough. You're missing two, I can live with that. And hopefully you can as well. So, Minerva is going to join us eventually. We have the two riders, we have the hero, whatever he's going to do, the curate. We have the pegasus, and then we have those two. I think that's fine. What do you have? Steel sword, and you have a lance. Uh, I'm not overwhelmingly concerned with this. I think this is fine. We still got to deal with this guy. And I think I know exactly who to use. Yeah, bow gun him. Go for it. If you crit, you crit high. If you don't, it's all good. You did 12 damage. I desperately needed some of that experience, buddy. So well done and kudos to you. I suppose we're going to start moving our way on down. We'll let Gordon chill back this way and just, I don't know, sit on the fortress, I guess? Like, I, I kind of, I don't, hmm. I don't really know what to do with Draug at this point. He's kind of just in like a, I don't know, sort of a weird position as a whole. All right. All right, let's end the turn and see what we got next. <sighs> Two to three more turns before we make it into the room to talk to Maria. Oh, you, oh, you think this is a good idea? I think this is a terrible idea, but hey, you know what? Let's see what we got. Thank good, she did not do anything. Really? I'm like, please tell me we can actually get through here. We can. Alright, what do you have? Alright, so here's the plan, I guess. Since I can only move there, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trade my item, my dorky over to you. Okay, Jorge. Gonna have you move up and over. You got decent, well, it really slows your moving down. This controller is creaky already. Uh, never buy a Walmart brand controller without paying attention to what you're doing, guys and gals. I suppose all my controllers get creaky occasionally, but I can definitely tell it's a step down in quality compared to a regular DualShock controller. Uh, in my uh, efforts to save a little bit of money, I went looking around to various different places to see if I could get... Alright, so, I don't know what the prices are for PlayStation 4 controllers are, like, in the U.S. right now. My guess is probably around 50 or 60 bucks. Uh, probably 60s is, is my assumption. Uh, in Canada, it's $75 or 80 at some one of those two. And that's just an outrageously huge amount of money. Um, so yeah, it's I, I, I looked around, I looked around, I looked around because my uh, other two PlayStation 4 controllers that I've had since I've got the PlayStation 4, uh, they both started drifting upward, and I'm I'm gonna just assume that it's due to 
basically games wanting to use the L3 button, the left analog stick being pressed in like this. And it's just, uh, I hate I hate that feature. I hate when games want you to use that because it just feels bad for the controller. The right analog stick doesn't feel as bad as the left one because the left one you're usually moving while you're doing it. The right analog stick, it's usually just an extra button there. So I feel like when I do that, I'm potentially damaging the controller. And I probably am, to be completely honest. Uh, we should be fine. I'm I'm gonna roll the dice there and say that we're gonna be okay against the Pegasus with a um, Gore with Gore, did he did did he get hit? Oh, we dodged it, right? I don't remember. I think we dodged. Oh no, we did. But then we got javelined. Yeah, but the javelin didn't hit that hard. Ah, we should be fine. We should be fine. Anyhow, so I looked around, looked around, every place, every place, exactly the same price, same price, same price. And I, I went to Walmart, and I guess, you know, this is like the latest, like the last place I went to look. And it was super late, and I'm like, oh, it's right there, cool. And I looked, I'm like, yep, that's it. And I ordered it, and it was like $52 as opposed to $75. And I'm like, I can't pass up this opportunity. Well, it's... It's a uh, Walmart double shock controller. Does not stay um, uh, paired, I guess is the right word. Does not stay paired to my 8-bit uh, dough that I have for my Nintendo Switch. So every time I have to repair it to that, it will stay paired to the PS4 though. And uh, when I connect it to the PC, it says that there's a higher than average uh, or ha higher than normal latency for the controller, which is another weird one. Well, eh, it is what it is. It works well enough for now, but definitely be careful, folks. I got it. I'm like, double shock? Oh, no. What have I done? I immediately regretted my decision. I look at it. There's no PlayStation emblem on the little PlayStation button in the middle. I'm like, oh, no. I've been had. It's my own fault. I've got no one to blame. Ah, ah. Well, it is what it is. Just like I, I did something else, just as well. Maybe not quite as dumb. Um, I got a new mixer board relatively recently. Uh, the old one, it doesn't have the ability to turn it off. There's no power button, so I have to constantly unplug it. Uh, I can't just leave it on all the time because it gets too hot. It will probably damage it or burn out or whatever. So. I've been unplugging it, but if you're unplugging and plugging something in from the back of the thing, eventually it's going to get looser and looser and there's going to be problems. I hadn't run into any problems yet, but I knew it was only a matter of time. So, and I've been wanting to get one that has another, I don't remember what they're called. The three prong, three prong, I, I, use, I usually know, I just can't think of it right now. The three prong for your, um, for your microphone, there's a three prong, um, plug, and then there's like the... I don't know, quarter inch ones. Anyway, I, I needed more of those, and for whatever reason, like I said, I can't remember what they're called right now, but uh, the other one that I had only had one of those, so I wanted one with more, I, I ended up ordering it, and I had a choice, they were both the same price, except one was on sale. They were like two to three dollars difference, or like five bucks or something, like they were basically the same price, maybe they were exactly the same price. Anyway, one was on sale for like 40 or 50 or something dollars less. I'm like, I can't pass up that savings. And the other one had uh, like a primitive VFX thing. Not VFX, just FX, like a sound uh, FX thing on it. And I kind of wanted that, but uh, you know, it's not like I was going to be using it a lot or maybe at all ever. I don't know. It's just there was an option there, right? Uh, long story short, a short story long, as it were. Um, I ended up going with the one that was, again, more cost effective. And that was fine, except for the part where this one also doesn't have a power switch, whereas the one with the VFX, or with the FX, does have a power switch. So I'm pretty bummed out, because I could have sworn both of them had a switch, and the whole one of the main reasons, there were a few reasons, but one of the big, big reasons I wanted to switch, and specifically why I wanted one of these two, was because they had a power switch. And I could have sworn this one did. I would have put money on it, and I would have lost that money. Uh, so, definitely kind of a bummer. 
But what can you do? Alright, I'm gonna try to bait this. I know it's maybe not the smartest idea. You've healed up, right? Yes. Alright, I'm gonna try to bait the uh, flying thing to come back and try to attack my archer. And I know this story is kind of whatever, and I'm just kind of rambling right now, but honestly, what else are we doing? We're slowly moving our forces closer to talk to someone at this point. We're not even really in combat. There's a little bit of combat going on right here. You know, it's, it's a little worrying that they just keep throwing attacks at Raj, but I mean, I think we're fine. Oh, no, you're not, you're not gonna fall for it? All right, that's cool. Bow used heal. Ah, good. Ah, you must be Prince Marth. Now he's... Her, sorry, wow. Wow, he's so dashing. Thank you for saving me. You have to tell my older sister that I am safe. She must be so worried. One other thing. Uh, I would like to join you, Prince. Let me stay by your side. Oh, please don't say no. I wouldn't say no to you. Hey, Minerva. You want to come hang out? No? Okay. Well... Where are you at? I need Julian to come over. Alright, so this dude's got an armor slayer, so I can't use that. But, if I can get all of my archer type folk ready to go to do some damage, and I can throw a heal up on my boy here. Wait, Cap Captain Marth, wait. I, I assume you have a heal? Oh, you do. Oh, I, I love you so much, Maria. I love you so much. Here. Be he all are healed. All right, so basically we need to prepare for the onslaught slash assault that we're going to be doing against this dude up here. We need our double archers, possibly a mage, anything that we can keep at range. That's the plan right now. And high hopes that we can actually take down this fool. I think we could probably even get away with Seda doing some work. So that's going to be the plan, the goal, the hope, the dream, as it were. But eh, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe, maybe the dreams will fall apart and we'll be very sad. I don't know. All right. Honestly, the entire crew is going to come through this door at some point or another. But for now, we have our plan. We have our strategy, as it were. Make sure Draug does not go and hug the armor slayer. And I think we're going to be fine. And honestly, maybe just play it as safe as possible and take all pot shots at him until he goes down. Take out all the risk and just shoot at him. Maybe maybe that's, maybe that's the plan. Maybe that's the goal. All right, well, we're just going to chill here then, I guess. How did I move up here and then not be able to move back? Do I get, like, extra movement from being on one of those? I don't know. Uh, I think I stay here and I just attack. Firestone! Blah! We missed. Shocking. Alright, Raj, what you got for me now? I oh, will try the lance again. He's losing health. I'm actually getting really worried. I'd be very upset if he just dies because we can't... Maybe maybe I should start running away. Like, this is a... This is a problem. Like, he should not be... Oh, God. He should not be taking damage right now. Honestly, it's fine. I, I don't know why I'm, I'm like, freaking out as much as I, I am. Because I, I have a very easy solution to this problem. Well, I do, and I don't. Like, right now it seems like an easy solution, but there, there's a problem with the solution. Alright, let's move here. Alright, which one are you? Are you the one with the, the javelins? Alright, let's see if we can't take you down. I could just hold the line there 
and hope that they attack me, but they might just ignore me and go after the archer. I don't know. I want one of these guys to go down. Finally, we had something. It still leaves us somewhat open to problems here, though. Maybe we send Wendell back. We can't really do that. Jillian, make it? Oh, you made it. Alright, buddy. I wonder what this does. I don't know. I wonder what Eleven Sword does. I'm very, very curious about these items. Alright. Let's get Caster in here first. Alright, I'll take it. I'll steel bow on this guy. I can't imagine he's super dodgy. Nine damage. He's fast, though. Alright, the attack's coming out from the steel bow. Merrick over here. Merrick's going to do some work, I think. A little blizzard. Boop! He's got one HP. Who do we give it to? I think we're going to give it to Navar. If he can make it, we're going to give it to him. If he can make it. Alright, cool. Attack. Yeah, steel sword should be fine. Dude just like he, we miss, and then he just crits Navar and slaughters him, and he's dead. And I'm like, what? Alright. Good chunk of experience. A hero crest. Ooh. That's... Okay. That That is definitely an upgrade item. I'm not sure who, on who it's an upgrade item. Probably... Probably even... Might even be him. Mercenary might get upgraded? I don't know. I'm very tempted to look up, like, a... a a chart or something that would explain who can get upgraded from what and honestly at some point I may have to I'm gonna try not to do that but it might be a thing I have to do at some point <sighs> trial and error works too though I mean we can say between each uh, each level so it's not like it's the end of the world So if there is some trial and error when it comes to... Also, I don't know what the level is that you can level up. Is it 20? Can you get 20 levels or can you level up at 10? Like, I'm definitely getting some Shining Force uh, leftovers going on in my mind. Because I believe in Shining Force, I, I think you could level up at 10. But you didn't have to. You could actually hold your level up or your promotion or whatever you want to call it. till much further along. Also, I will say... and. Again, don't 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 take this the wrong way, but like I I love Fire Emblem. I've enjoyed all of the games of Fire Emblem that I've played. There is one thing that I do not like about Fire Emblem. Uh, well, one of the major things I do not like about Fire Emblem is, in fact, you know what? I'm gonna let Wendell come back, and I am gonna have him try to throw some heals if we have to run. Uh, I, I don't like the limited item usage thing. I know some people really like that. That is definitely a Fire Emblem like exclusive thing. The fact that your weapon has durability and stuff like that. I don't like that. I would prefer to just find... You have a wooden sword. You have a... I don't know. A stone sword. You have a copper sword. And then as you get these upgrades, your damage goes up you know, through each upgrade. But the weapon never breaks. You never have that problem. Now, don't get me wrong... They do a good job of giving you multiple weapons in this game and a lot of money to buy more weapons. So they've definitely covered their bases on that front. But that's the one thing that I don't particularly like. Well, it's one of the things I don't particularly like. The other thing is I would also prefer to go somewhere and be able to upgrade your characters. Like maybe the caravan between missions. Like have some sort of menu there where you can be like, promote? Yes. I don't like having to have the item, but... That's, that's again, a personal preference for me there. And I I get it. There's some other tactical strategy going on there, right? You have to have the right upgrade item at the right time for the right person. You can maybe only upgrade or promote certain people. 
Like, it adds another level of depth, I guess you could say. So while I don't like that particularly, I am also not super mad at it. And I get it, and I'm okay with it. The weapon durability, that one's still a bit rough. Alright, we're going to end the turn, we're going to see what happens, and then we're going to break out the episode. I think I've done enough rambling for one day. Ooh! Ooh, we, we, got, we got a hit in there. We're also one crit away from dying. Ah, I was expecting this to happen. And you're throwing another heal. Yeah, I expected that to happen as well. To, oh, crap. Oh, that's fine. Don't worry, Minerva. We're coming for you. Alright, I need I need to see if Bantu can actually land his attack. I'm doubting it, but maybe. Please land, buddy. I don't I don't want to have to run the risk of hitting with him. Oh, thank God. Okay. Okay, all the risk is gone. We're okay. He leveled up. Please, some stat. Oh, good. He got a stat. He got one HP up. And that was it. That was the only thing he did. But hey, you know what? It's something. He had literally zero stat gain up until that point. Not any strength, nothing. That, that's good. I like that. I mean, honestly, Gordon's not going to be able to do anything. I sort of want to just take these guys down, but... Eh. You know? Eh. Alright, I'll do that too. Maybe we'll get the music change. Let's go for it. Boop! And, oh, dodged. I'm impressed. Shouldn't be. You shouldn't have hit me. Or, sorry, shouldn't have hit me. Uh, I shouldn't have missed you, but I did. And I will take it, I guess. Alright, big attack. Goodbye, Mr. Healer Man. Very good. There's our music change, folks. There it is. You know we wanted it. You know you were begging for it yourselves. It is here. I feel like javelin on javelin action just feels good to me. Let's see what we got. Are we the better javeler? Uh, oh, wait. Did, you, did we kill the javelin user? Oh, you got a sword. Oh, that's totally different. That's cool. Wait. I can move on to... That's not like a... That's not like a wall? How am I on a wall? What? You know what? I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna... It's fine. Not gonna question it. Blizzard broke. Oh, no. Take him down, baby. Get him, Seda. Get him. Uh, Steel sword. Feels good. Yeah! Get that experience, because you desperately need it. You don't, you don't need it. Alright, folks. And in the next episode, we go and we speak with Minerva for the very first time. And then we deal with the last two dudes. Maybe a quick shopping trip. You know what? Let's see if we can't get to Minerva and I can do the shopping off camera. It's going to elongate the episode slightly, but I think it'll be fine. I'm going to move there. Hopefully, that's fine. Uh, also, also, uh, maybe it's a good idea to have Maria close in case she's the one that has to talk. Maybe they don't believe uh, Marth. Uh, I don't know. Well, every once in a while, guys and gals, we get a little bit off timed with our uh, with our episodic episodes. I'm okay with it. I don't want to make sure Wendell gets out of here in like a reasonable time. Alright, that's fine. Let's end. Let's see if Minerva makes it. And then I'll be able to move everybody over to all my buying and trading and selling and all the other stuff that I got to do. Oh, you're moving out. Look at you. That's a weird choice. Oh, good. You just talked to me. Thank God. Greetings, Prince Marth. I am Minerva of Macedon. Thanks for saving Maria. Uh-huh. I had no choice but to be your enemy. I regret that very much. Still, many in Macedon do support Dolar, including my elder brother, Michaelis. To me, though, Dolar is responsible for my father's death. I seek revenge for that. Haha. I must also worry about my troops, however. 
especially the three white wings, Pala, Catria, and Est. Dollar feared our rebellion and separated us. If they knew I was safe, they would happily join your ranks. How I detest Dollar for trampling Mastodon underfoot. Please allow us to join your fight. Yeah. Done and done. Well, folks, hopefully you don't need to see me murder this guy because I'm totally going to do it. And I'm going to do, like, like I said, all, all the buying and trading and selling and all that stuff. Healing up and get everything ready. And then we're going to come up here. We're going to bull rush this guy, take him down, and it's going to be over. All right, folks, that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. Until the very next one, I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thanks so much for stopping by the Freak Show. Always remember, we play, we fight, we conquer.